This is the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, July 12th, 2021. Today's show is dedicated to Big Nate as we celebrate our one year anniversary. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. Got your other host, Charlie. Good afternoon. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. And we're recording today. Hey! hey. Buttons. Winner, up. winner. Good Great job, up. Steve. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what today is, Charlie? What is today? Episode 52. Bit That's 5 2. One year. One we're just year. Babies. Yeah. We're infants. Well, we're going to celebrate with some good beers. Yeah. We're going to give it a shot at least. So we, uh, What's, uh, what's up first, Charlie? We're going to go straight to Sour Smoothie from Creative Creature and Mason Ale Works. And this thing is a joy. I've already had it, but uh, I know Steve hasn't. But uh, this is uh, sour, or Smoothie Sour Ale with banana, acai, blueberry, raspberry, coconut, and vanilla. 5% ABV. Let me tell you, it's a rocker. So it's Mason McCreature. Uh, it's a... Uh, like Charlie said, it's a smoothie. Smoothie, yeah, sour smoothie. Uh, creative creature and, and Mason Ale Works uh, collabed in this. So Ooh. creative creature right out there in uh, in El Cajon. Just uh, Mason Ale Works up phenomenal. in uh, San Marcos. Mm. So yeah, they uh, it's a Happy sour smoothie. Happy birthday to me. Good night. Blended that's with delicious. banana, acai, blueberry, raspberry, coconut, vanilla. Ooh man, that's good. I love the can. It's got like the garbage pail kid, you know, and just all these stuff that's thrown into this beer. But this is probably the best thing I've tasted from uh, Creative Creature. And they've got a lot of good ones, in my opinion. Personal opinion. Let's see what Steve has to say. Man, I really... It smells good. Yeah. yeah, no, it smells like a smoothie. Really, really, really tropical. I mean, and as you would expect with all the... Uh, it's almost a pink oh, color. Wow. That's really good. Like a, like a light pink. Mm. Smell a lot of fruit in there. Yeah, that's what I like. Fruit. Oh. Bananas right off the top and a mm-hmm. little coconut in the back end. Just, Super smooth. Just so That's a drinker, good. though. Yeah. Gosh. Go good with this uh, this heat and humidity we've had. This is a lounger around the pool. This is a beer for people who don't like beer. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. for sure. Yeah. Like, I was thinking that same thing. I'm like, if you, you know, if you were a fan of, like, an acai bowl, right? <laughs> like, that's like the... Like an acai bowl in a in a drink form. Yeah, they do a good job on that one. Let me tell you. And I, you know, what were the berries in there? Uh, raspberry, acai, and blueberry. Mm. Yeah, they said uh, yeah, banana, acai, oh, blueberry, yeah. raspberry, coconut, and vanilla. Mm. <sighs> That's a great combination. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't have thought it would be, but I mean, it just works. They did the right amount of everything in there. I mean, you can see the little dots of blueberry in there, you know, wow. speckled throughout. Mm. Yeah, light pink. Hey, do you guys have any beers this week? I mean, this is this is phenomenal, but uh, besides yeah. this? This one. <laughs> That's what you had, Charlie? No, I had this. I had some uh, uh, Endegrin. Um, I got a whole bunch of different Endegrin. So I've been popping those, that uh, smoked lager or smoked Pilsner lager. Pilsner, I think it is. Uh, a couple other different types of lagers that they have. Super tasty. All of them fresh and crisp. I'm loving them. But I'm going through those. I'm going to send uh, Steve home with some of them. Yeah, thank you. Sounds awesome. You are out of luck, my friend, over there. I'm going to have to deal with it. I think I'm going to go to Anagrin next week. You mm. of little refrigerator space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I am running uh, running on empty as far as... Uh, but I wouldn't mind stopping at, uh, at Anagrin. To do that. Got a little beer trip going mm-hmm. next week. Steve, what do you have for the best uh, best beer you had? Yeah, so we bought some Humble Sea a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So I had the Cypress Abyss, the Imperial Stout, conditioned on cypress wood, spirals, vanilla, and cacao. Cacao. Pretty good. Yeah. Shared it with my niece's husband. Great. Alex? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, good It's a really, really good beer. And the bottle was a perfect size for sharing with somebody. Right. Yeah, that 500 milliliter bottle, it's uh, perfect size. Um, I had a uh, um, uh, Mostratones. That's I think right. Was, so it was Mostratones from... Uh, 12 ounce can. 12 ounce can of Mostratones. Mm. It's um, a solo run. 
I think it was Mostra Towns, is that right? That's what you said. Or was it uh, Mostra Park? Was oh, it Mostra Park? They're all good. Yeah, Ali, I just don't even know uh, I don't even know what I had. It was a stout from modern times, I'm guessing. It was it was a stout from modern times. Let's You're see. on your patio. <laughs> Mostra Park is what Mostra it was. Mostra Park. I didn't have Mostra Tones. So that was that was last year. Mostra Park. Uh, it was phenomenal. Uh, double uh, double coffee stout. It was super smooth. It was twelve ounce can. They will just sit on the patio, watch the sunset. Yeah. Like that the other day it was great. Your your uh, your spot there is a nice spot for a beverage. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a phenomenal beer. I definitely. I wish. And we had talked to uh, about getting more of that. We tried to order it. It was all gone. Mm. Unfortunately, yeah, I got a couple up here, one or two, huh. maybe. Yeah, so that, um, yeah, that, that was a, it was a. I had a lot of like light beers this week, mm-hmm. and, you know, a lot of lagers, and um, it's been hot, humid. It's what you want, you know. It brings the temperature of your body down slightly to uh, cool you, refresh you. I think it's very important to be refreshed and cooled during the summer, but uh, you know that's just how I roll. I am a big fan of that. Oh, um, this stuff's great. Are you kidding me? For sure. That's I could a, drink uh, this for the rest of my life, I think. Mm. I agree. That's how good it is, man. They did a heck of a job. And um, I went out there and uh, grabbed a few four-packs, and I went through too many of them, so I had to go get some more. Yeah. You see old Big Mike out there and have him hook you up with some beers. They got slushies there too right now. I don't know if I told you that. Yeah. So just go in. Yeah, they're like a up. seltzer mm. slushy that they use, and they uh, dump fruit and stuff in there. And it's, it's problem is is eight percent, so you want a little one. Mm-hmm. So I I tasted it at least, but uh, yeah, they got some. Then I got a, they got a new IPA out too, or a hazy that it's, I have in the cooler there. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm gonna get into that probably. Tomorrow or the next day. Eventually. But uh, creative creature. Awesome job. Pretty impressed. I, I told Mike this is probably the best thing I've had out of there yet. And they got a lot of good beers coming out of there. Next, we're running off to Lost Abbey and a mm. big bottle. Oh, gosh. That smells fantastic. Yeah, so next up, um, uh, what, do you, what do you have there, Charlie? This is Lost Abbey's uh, big bottle. It's uh, still... A still small voice. It says uh, American sour aged in oak barrels. Yeah, so this is a 7% American uh, uh, wild ale uh, created by uh, uh, Tommy Arthur up at, up at Lost <sighs> Abbey and uh, Sean Hill of Hill Farmstead. Oh, um, yeah. You know, the Hill Farmstead, one of the uh, most award winning breweries in the nation. These guys were, I think, 2012 or 2012 through 2019, they were the uh, rate uh, rate beers brewery uh, number one brewery in the world. Wow. Actually, one of those years they were number two, but like a six time or seven time brewery of the year. And where's that at? Uh, they're in Vermont. That's why I didn't know about. It. Yeah, so they uh, small little town. It's ooh, pretty good. Nice and light. Anything wild, I'm pretty excited about. But this is this is a pretty Gosh, good. Got a little bit of a uh, little acidity. Slight, yeah, but it's but it's soft. I think it's uh, um, it almost has like a saisony taste, you know. Hmm. Maybe I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a smell off. I don't, I don't, I don't. What kind of? It's just aged. It doesn't say there's anything in it other than that. No, there's no. It's just a wild ale aged in. Uh, oh, um, that's good. Aged in oak barrels, right? I mean, it's not super. You smell it. It'd yeah. be kind of like you're getting ready for like it to be like super acidic, maybe. Super um, sour. It really, it's really not too acidic. It's got a nice softness to it. Yeah, it's an easy drinker. I'm kind of shocked at seven percent. That's Tastes really really mild for seven mm-hmm. percent beer. That is really. Uh, That's a really, really mild good beer. Yeah, they did a job on that bad boy. I'm trying to see what's if we got anything floating on the bottom yet. Can't see it. It's too, uh, wow. humidity has taken over the bottle, so, anyhow, but it's, yeah, you can't go wrong with, uh, with the little Lost Abbey and Hill Farmstead. So yeah. this one wasn't probably well, well, like a lot of it made? 
Yeah, no, they did. Small, a, it was a, a pretty small release. It was, you know, they it did it. It, it made it to a public release. Um, I don't know if it sold out. Like, it, you know, they they do um, pretty small releases, like mm-hmm. brewery only. Certainly, um, like from from Lost Abbey here, they um, they open it up to to club members, and I, I split a member with uh, um, with Josh, and um, so he had uh, he had given me that. I don't know if we. If it was a club bottle, or if we had to, um, mm-hmm. had, to had to purchase it separately. Right. But um, I love the the Lost app. I mean, they, they make the best sours, I yeah. think, in San Diego. You kind of look at like um, like new breweries and like old breweries, like old money breweries, right? And like new money, right? Kind of thing. Like you look at like like Stone, Lost Abbey, right? Pizza Port. Those breweries that have been around forever, right? They really created the beer that Ale Smith, right? Like Carl. Around, right. And then um, you know you look at like those those newer breweries like uh, Pure um, Horus, you know Pure, uh-huh. like the uh, right. Modern Times Society, you know the the newer breweries that are really pushing the envelope. But but really, um, Tommy Arthur, like he created like some of the forever. best American wild ales uh, yeah. that that we've that we've seen in America. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Duck Duck Goose, uh, Cable Car, uh, Izzy, uh, that's. Three off the top of my head, but yeah, no, that cable car. They're actually. Uh, I got an email yesterday. They're releasing. I think the next club release is going to be uh, Cable Car Creek. Which um, when I uh, when 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 me and Josh elected to uh, to get that membership, it was based off of really like a couple of bottles that that I wanted to get this year, which was that Lost Bus. Yeah, um, I was excited about this bottle uh, and that Cable Car Creek. Um, mm. which cable car being like, you know, Toronado, it's the beer that's made for Toronado in San Francisco was, you know, the Seattle beer. Toronado, uh, this Toronado here. Um, they're actually, the only Toronado left is, uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. And you know what? We've been there and that is a treat. If you're in, ever in San Francisco in the Haid Ashbury district district, you need to hit up Toronado's. I mean, the best part I think was the guy, the bouncer. <laughs> who had a small chihuahua dressed <laughs> identically to him. <laughs> yeah, the, wasn't he in a Slayer shirt? Slayer and, uh, vest. Yeah, he was in a, like a, a vest. Was it a, a Slayer vest? A leather vest Slayer t- vest. And then the dog was in a matching, like, matching yeah, vest. Yeah, like, vest. Yeah, it was, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. And it's, it's, it's a total dive bar place, but mm. they have the best beer available. In all of California, I mean, that'd have to say, wouldn't it be? I mean, they just got stuff on tap that you can't get anywhere else. They're one of the, like, you know, the marquee beer bars, right, mm-hmm. on, the, on the West Coast. Um, or certainly, I mean, they've they've been around 30 years, I mm-hmm. think. Um, like, more than 30 years. They did a, a couple years ago, I think for their 30th birthday, they did um, 30 different breweries made beers for their, mm-hmm. um, like, Russian River made one, and... Um, Modern Times made one. Burning Beard made mm-hmm. one, which was awesome. Like yeah. you know, at that time, like I'm like, how did that happen? Mm-hmm. That's a great deal. Um, yeah, they uh, to be uh, asked is right. Wonderful. Yeah, to to get to know those guys. They'd met uh, um, Mike and Jeff had met those guys at the Great American Beer Festival and hanging out with those guys mm. and uh, um, ended up uh, getting invited to make a beer for them, which is pretty <laughs> wild. And they were young at the time; like they weren't even a year old. I think mm-hmm. when that happened, like the brewery was. Maybe maybe over a little over a year, but so why do you think they closed down the other? Um, so breweries? the one in San Diego is just um, you know we were talking to the guy going down there, and, and I think Ian um, like right before they closed, it had been like losing money for a while, and mm-hmm. it had been quite some time um, that Ian wasn't making uh, you know he wasn't making any profit. Mm-hmm. So he's like, this isn't going to change. You know now everybody wants to go to a brewery, hang out at mm-hmm. the brewery, drink there. Mm-hmm. You know the people aren't drinking out of town beers. Um, but they had some crazy sales when you would go down there, um, you know, towards the towards the end. That was the beginning of COVID, I think, um, is when they... They had to wear masks. Yeah, like they had shut down, but they had all their beer out on the... All oh, their oh, bottles, yeah, like right. the cellar sale. Yeah, yeah. So they were on their back patio. They had, um, you know, different vintages of cable car. They were selling Izzy there. Hmm. Um, There's only there. one bottle of Izzy. There was, yeah. Um, what they told us is that somebody in the building bought it not the public so mm-hmm. that's what they told me at least yeah mm-hmm. so i threw a fit jumped on the ground mm-hmm. kicked my feet <laughs> it 
didn't do much good. <laughs> it's like, get this guy out of here. <laughs> That's really, yeah. Delish. That's a great American, you know, like a American mm-hmm. wild ale. Just super, um, super soft. It really, uh, no, that was a great beer. You could drink a lot of that too. I mean, that's, I mean, 7%. I was shocked. I mean, usually 6, 6% would be what I would think, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's a good beer. So speaking of Toronado. Speaking um, of which, yeah, here the, we are. Uh, so this Russian River, uh, recently, our next beer, uh, Blind Pig, uh, from, from Russian River. The, uh, one of the OGs, um, you know, it's a uh, 6.25% American Pale Ale. It's originally brewed by Vinny at the Blind Pig Brewing Pub uh, in Temecula, California, inspired by the original Blind Pig IPA. Uh, this beer is loaded with hop characters, is what they what they report. But uh, so you know, we've previously done this beer, and you know, we try, I guess, not to not to do multiples of beers. But you know, when well, we, there's a reason why. When we yeah, when we, we you know we we had this as part of our Russian River show. Uh, but this but this uh, bottle, if you look on the side on the date. Uh, it says uh, "Love you, Big Nate" on the on the side of it. So, uh, um, yeah, which uh, Nate had a uh, was 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 an amazing guy who you know had relationships with that. He was a San Diego beer celebrity. So like he's one a of the great originals. guy, man. Great guy. Just, we had we had some entertainment with him at uh, Tornados. Yeah. Oh, for sure. He's just the nice, just the nicest guy. Like if you didn't know this guy and you went into the brewery, you'd swear that, you know, like you, if anybody, you know, came up on your interaction, they would think that you had been friends with the guy for 10 years. Yeah. Like he just made everybody feel like so at home. He was oh, special. So it's, it was um, sad, sad to hear him go. So yeah. yeah, it's great to see like all of these, um, all these breweries and they're uh, like, you know, Modern Times did a, uh, did an event yesterday, uh, for, for Nate and there was five different, uh, five different bars around town that, that, um, uh, donated a uh, portion of their sales to uh, uh, to Nate's family. That's great. Which Super is great. Super nice so, guy. We, get, for Nate. we ate some food with him. We hung out. We drank some beers with him. Talked you know, whiskey. Talked beer. Talked food. It was fun. Yeah. No, he was a great guy. I'll, like, I'll never forget when we... Uh, <laughs> he's like, hey, you guys uh, you guys want this sandwich? Or like, He's like, hey, I got to take pictures of this sandwich, but I'm not going to eat it. You guys can have it. We're like, yeah. So it was like the the special of the day, and he was going to post it on Instagram. We're the only ones in there, so we yeah, we're not to anybody else. <laughs> Charlie was dropping me off at the airport. I think I actually missed. No, maybe yeah, I was getting ready to fly out. Charlie was dropping me off at the airport, mm-hmm. and I was like, hey, I'll buy you lunch. He dropped me off at the airport. Let's go to Toro. <laughs> we go down there, and, and Nate's getting ready to make the sandwich. He's like, hey, we, we you know we get a couple beers. He's like, you guys, uh, you guys want you guys want this sandwich? All right, I got a sandwich coming up. You know, I'm gonna take some pictures of it. You guys can have it. So he comes out of the kitchen. We're like, yeah, man, we'll take that sandwich. He comes out of the kitchen and puts it right in front of us. Charlie grabs half, I grab the other half, and we eat it, right? Mm-hmm. And he comes back, he's like, hey. He's like, I forgot to take pictures of the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and, and me and Charlie are wiping our lips about 30 seconds after he, uh, you know, we're done eating it. He's so like, he, I'm going to give yeah, you another like, one. <laughs> he's like, oh, you guys want another one? Yeah. <laughs> so he made, made the pictures and uh, gave us another one. That's so, great. Sorry. Yeah, no, it was pretty funny. He's a really, really good dude. I asked him, do you, you sure you took pictures of that? <laughs> So we almost got three. Yeah. No, that was uh, that he's was a, pretty comical. He's a good guy. Cheers to him, man. Yeah, cheers to Nate. For Nate. Nate. No, that was a, that's and the beer is you know fantastic. I mean, good uh, good pick for. Uh, oh yeah. Russian River to send this one out. For sure. It's a great beer. He probably loved this too. Yeah, it was his favorite beer. That oh, blind really? pig was. Yeah. Oh, so like okay. when you look at um, you know they when when people were posting pictures like of uh. They, uh, you know, outside of Tornado or the closed down Tornado, there was a little memorial um, mm. for Nate, and there was like empty bottles of uh, of Blind Pig down there. Um, you know, that was like his his favorite beer, and he yeah, had. Uh, he told us, uh, he, oh, Blanca, Blanca, Blanca. Yeah, and I'm like from what? modern times. What is that? Yeah, when we had, um, and I was wondering if they were going to have that on tap last night, but um, the uh, to uh, Blanca, we we had asked him. You know, he worked at Modern Times forever, right? Uh, you know, hey Nate, what's your favorite, uh, modern your times. favorite Modern Times beer? Like any one of them, you know, any style. And he's like, oh, certainly Blanc on Blanc on Blanc. I hadn't had it. Um, we hadn't had it, and mm-hmm. then he's like, hey, it's coming out again, and it did come out shortly thereafter. It was Fantastic. phenomenal. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great beer. I'd like to see them release that again. Yeah. What style was it? Uh, it was an IPA. Mm-hmm. Um, it yeah, was it was a. Though. It was super good. I, I want one of those shirts with him on the front, you know, where he's 
he's, he's holding a bottle up over his head. He's leaning his head back and just mm-hmm. pouring into his mouth. It's beautiful. He's got his name down at the bottom. And mm. It's a really, really nice image of him. So I was pretty cool. But yeah, this is uh, this is definitely a go-to beer for for uh, Russian River for sure. Yeah, just great IPA. I, mm-hmm. I think I like Blind Pig more than I like Pliny. It's just super soft, easy to drink. Oh yeah, it's um, it's a beer like I'll always be able to pick up a Blind Pig and and get uh, that little uh, bitter at the end there. I like that. It's drinkable. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's delicious. Come on. Yeah, for sure. No, it's a it's a great beer. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. For sure, you can't complain on a uh, on a blind pig. No, never. Not on this day. You know, for for us, I mean, we're so fortunate to to live where we live that that like blind pig is a grocery store beer for us. You know, <laughs> like you can drive down to like Valley Farms, like uh, it's like, like Ryan said. So this isn't on aisle eleven at Bonds, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I feel super fortunate that we have access to such good beers. Yeah, we get um, a lot of them, man. Not just a few. I mean, shoot, we, Pure, Ennegrin, Def, Modern Times, uh, Coronado has some good beers. Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, Ale Smith. Uh, there's a hundred. I can't even think of them, all the breweries that are in town. There's got to be over a hundred. Mac Lake, you know, all those breweries that are just burning beer. Society. Yeah, no, we're pretty fortunate. 170 breweries or, or something through the uh that's a crazy number yeah yeah for sure there's no, probably gonna be more sometime. yeah i mean it's uh yeah it's 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 insane um pretty pretty wild that we're that we have that many different breweries yeah. <clears throat> and for a while i was trying to um when when there was like 70 breweries in san diego i was trying to hit all of them mm-hmm. <laughs> which seemed like an impossible and i was like all right i can hit one a week and I made it through like forty or something of the breweries, and you you couldn't keep up. Like, at, and that was like the mm-hmm. the point where we were like opening so many breweries that right. like you're uh, every you month a every month job. you're like yeah. two months behind. You yeah. know? like if you're trying to hit one brewery a week, it was uh, probably now is the time to restart that. We probably should. Yeah, we should probably uh, you know at least have a beer from. You know, try to yeah. try to check all those or off. record it, everyone. Yeah, exactly. Right. Well, there's yeah. plenty down in South. South, that you know, Chula Vista National City, IB. There's plenty of breweries down there we've never even been to. Mm-hmm. They don't let guys like me down not south of the 94, though. It's <laughs> actually where I live. Short people? That's where I live. <laughs> no, I live just north of the 94, I guess. You're on the border. What's the uh, so that's another, another great beer, yes, sir. The next one up is a, a Mostra. Tyrone, it's called. It's uh, Imperial Stout with vanilla beans, bananas, and molasses. Mm. Uh, so this uh, Tyrone is a it's a <laughs> collaboration uh, with uh, it was brewed for for a Filipino restaurant in New York City uh, called Jeepney, uh, a Jeepney restaurant in New York City. It's a beer in, inspired by a Filipino dessert uh, called Tyrone, which is a, a fried uh, plantain lumpia. Uh, topped with caramelized brown sugar. Did we have something like this before? I think we did have. I don't think we had something. No, it was, not it was quite. Some, it's something. It was for a specific. It was supposed to be a specific type of. It was probably dessert. for most. Yeah, yeah. It was probably for for most of coffee. No, I feel like I. I do feel like at uh, like we had something from because there. There's a few different. Um, I was talking to. Uh, I was talking to the, this guy that I work with, Jose, and he's actually I. I owe him a bottle of this. I was going to send it out to him. No, was, we're drinking it. Yeah, no, we're drinking your bottle. I was <laughs> um, but he's like, hey, that'd be awesome. He's like, hey, he's wanted to go to this restaurant. He's like, this is his, uh, like his family's favorite dessert, right? Like, there's, uh, He's like, oh, I'm going to bring it over to a, to a family get-together and just show up with this. So there's a couple of other uh, um, dessert beers that they that they had. Well, Mostra has this Jeepney uh, little car and... I think they did a coffee for it too. I'm not sure. They did, yeah. But yeah, it's it's uh, it's pretty good stuff. This I love the label. This smells fantastic. Super cool label. And I've already tasted it. And I'm gonna wait for your guys' uh, statements. That's the vehicle, the jeepney on there. Mm. You can smell the banana. Yeah. And you can really taste the banana. Mm. Let's hear it, boys. Yeah, wow. you give it a hot. Yeah, you definitely um, smell that. Mm. You saw that banana on there, huh? Yeah. Too raw. Mm. 
I'm liking this. I want some of that dessert now that I've uh, been informed of it. I'm a banana person. I, like I don't think banana. we had too much banana. I can taste it. Really sweet. I think you definitely taste that banana, I think. Well, it's the molasses. I think the molasses. Is it? Yeah. Wraps around there and sticks to it, and then you, it turns into like a sugary taste, but it's still good. It's delicious. That Derek It is here. really, really good. He does some he, great stuff. Yeah, man. That guy is talented for yeah. sure. Like, he's... Uh, um, he makes some phenomenal beers. Mm. So this one's another one-off, limited release collaboration. Yep. So originally, originally brewed for the restaurant. They had a beer dinner. Mm. I watched the uh, the video uh, of the beer. <laughs> How about I'm watch, watching these guys have a beer dinner? You know? <laughs> like, um, just, yeah, they uh, or at least the 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 intro. It was uh, uh, Jay from Life Lab and Derek. Uh, you know, we're, we're uh, at the restaurant there uh, with the owner of the restaurant. Looks like a super cool restaurant in New oh, York yeah. City. Like, mm -hmm. I bet you the food is just phenomenal. Mm. Uh, I think there's actually a couple of those those restaurants throughout the country. Um, it's, let me tell you, it's probably, I've tasted quite a few of uh, Mostra's stouts, and this is, you know, top 10. So another one of these Life Lab thing. Life? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because last week we had one too. We did, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, Jay Pizarro yeah. is is uh, is the guy's name with uh, with Life Lab, yeah. um, and he uh, the he's got to he's got to do a little bit more with his name though. Like, he he basically has an Instagram account, <laughs> and that's right it. on yeah, you know, and, and he had talked like we you know I watched a podcast that he was on, mm -hmm. um, and he had talked about about starting his own uh, brewery, mm -hmm. like that, that he was looking at, at starting a brewery. And, and I had, I had expected it like around this time, I, I thought was the timeline, like late summer mm -hmm. or like Q2, Q3 kind of, um, so I, I wonder, you know, I, I don't know what's up with that, but, uh, yeah, he's definitely not very active on, on the, the Instagram when he does the Instagram pictures, yeah. it's the, the pictures that are like nine pictures, yeah. you know, that are like nine different posts that make up the yeah. one picture. Which but like, there's no website and there's no, there's no website. There's he's no, not, like yeah. he, like, if now, you, it's just like his collaborations, yeah. right? Like yeah. when he when he collabs with um, a lot of his collaborations are done with with Mostra, Jay Wakefield, uh, Moxa. Mm -hmm. That's like that little Duh. crew. Crew. Right. Um, yep, like Derek and, no, and Mike. Just, that's and, a good uh, crew to be with. I'll Jay. tell you that. Those guys are. No, they make unbelievable beers. They uh, they're yeah. But Mox guys. is making these killer beers. Mostra's making the incredible coffee. Uh, I don't know what his. His part of it is, other than maybe the king of collaboration. Oh, mm -hmm. he's the uh, so conduit. Yeah. So when yeah. he talked about, you know, he talked about um, making a beer with with Jay Wakefield the first time. The first mm -hmm. time he was going to make a beer. I guess you know I don't know what the connection was or how he got in touch. You know, probably mm -hmm. I, I would assume through either Mike or um, uh, or or Derek. You know, the um, who are both from San Diego. Jay's from mm -hmm. San Diego here. Um, but he had talked about, like, on this podcast about him creating uh, a stout, you know, or Jay, uh, uh, Jay Wakefield uh, was, was like, hey, do you want to, uh, or Jonathan Wakefield was like, uh, do you want to, uh, you want to create a, a beer, like a, like a Berliner, like a, um, what do they make, like that Miami Vice or whatever, the, the Berliner Vice? It's pretty good. Right? Yeah. He's like, no, I want to make a stout, like a stout that people that don't drink stouts drink, mm -hmm. right? So that turned into, like, Baki Kuraja, right? Which is, like, one of the, that's, like, which translates to ghost whale right <laughs> so uh and, and it's like the most difficult beer to get a hold of and they make the you know it's numerous renditions and it, you know sells for it's probably one of the most i mean i think you you got to either you can win it you can get it at jay wakefield uh, but not a whole lot of people get it uh, it's like the vip bottles but i mean if you if you look at some of these these secondary um like the sales. secondary market sales yeah. Uh, on a on a Baki Kuraja, um, I bet you it's um, well over a thousand dollars. It's right up there with Izzy. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah, it's more expensive than that. So yeah, is I anybody know, tracking like the work, the top beer? Sales? Yeah, they got them. Like the top ten. Beer? There is a site that you can look at that that kind of tracks and where it sold, mm -hmm. like which secondary market. Mm -hmm. um, it's the uh, I've seen uh, plenty of them that. Mm -hmm. It's the secondhand beer sales. And yeah, it's just 
curious. It's insane when when like something's going uh, like that. Like that's the price. Right. Like how do you enjoy that if you buy that that bottle? Um, With friends, I hope. Yeah, I would say. Oh, so if you look at like like right now, um, uh, Baki uh, Baki Kuraja burnt titanium from this last year is nine hundred dollars a bottle. Mm. Uh, the illuminating bottle is eight hundred. Uh, the titanium bottles eight hundred. The twenty four karat gold is eight hundred. So the four, mm. the four bottle set uh, is going for thirty three hundred bucks mm -hmm. for four bottles of beer. <laughs> that tops your wow is your score. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, it's that's a little good. over my price mm -hmm. range. Yeah, no. So what what did the last SR seventy one go for? Um, Do we know? Probably fifteen sixteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. And that that beer should be. Um, let's see if there's another one going up for. Yeah, no, that's um, that's definitely on my uh, on my hit list at some point. But you I don't just don't think there are any more available. Or if they are, they're not. It's in somebody's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, I would expect them to make it at some point again, like um, the yeah. second version. Or whatever. Oh, hey, so um, so how about this? I was I was back in Minnesota not that long ago. I don't think we've told this story, um, but my. Uh, this friend of mine was in, um, he was down in, uh, um, uh, gosh, I, I like the Lake of the Ozarks, mm -hmm. like kind of, kind of Missouri, I think it's Missouri, right? He was mm -hmm. like down by some lake in Missouri. Uh, and, and, um, him and a coworker stopped in to, uh, to have lunch and, uh, um, and there was like a tap takeover with, uh, um, Toplin Goliath at mm. this, uh, at this place. So he's like, Hey. Uh, you know, he says the other guy, do you drink beer? He's like, ah, I normally do. He's like, you're having a pseudo soup. He's like, we're both going to have this pseudo soup. Uh, yeah. He's like, great beer. So as he's, you know, he's, he's going to walk to the bathroom. He sees a guy with a, uh, um, with this toppling Goliath hat. And he's like, Hey, nice hat. I was going to wear that same thing. You know, I left it at home. And he's like, Oh, he's like, Oh, are you from around here? He's, you know, he's like, no, I'm from, uh, um, I'm from Minneapolis. And, uh, um, he's like, Oh yeah. He's like, uh, he's like, yeah, it's tough to find a good beer down here. And the guy says, yeah, the, he's like, uh, best beers in this town are at my house. Right. And he's like, Oh yeah. He's like, uh, he's like, yeah. So who are you? Turns out it's the owner of toppling Goliath. <laughs> right. Was at his house down in Lake of the Ozarks. Right. And he's like, Hey, he's like, uh, you know, so he's talking to him and he's like, yeah, I, go, I drive down to your brewery. And he had talked to him about like him, uh, you know, he had won a couple of their, their lotteries and got some of their beers in that fashion. Cause a lot of their stouts are tough to get in lotteries. So he, uh, he's like, Hey, um, if you want to have a beer tonight, why don't you go ahead and, and swing over seven o'clock? He gave him his address. He's like, just make sure, you know, you don't give my address to anybody. <laughs> so he goes over to this, uh, goes over to the owner of, uh, um, owner of Toppling Goliath's house and, and these guys are, are having beers together. Right. And then he's like, Hey, he's like, uh, well, I suppose I should send you on your way with some beers. Right. So he gives him, uh, uh, he gave him a bottle of assassin and these assassins, it's like, Two beers are like two hundred bucks or whatever, mm. you know, for for the, right. the set. And he, so he gives him an assassin. He gave him a bunch of these other turmoils, strudels. Gave him all of these barrel aged stouts, <laughs> which are impossible to get a hold of. Yeah. And then he, because um, he's just making room in his fridge. Cause yeah, exactly. Because he's like, <laughs> I got another shipment coming in. But yeah, so he left. So he he goes over to have a beer with this guy because he wants to have the best beer in the Ozarks, and uh, ends up going home with a suitcase full of uh, barrel aged Top Wing Goliath beers. Oh my so goodness. when I was in when I was in Minnesota this last time, he had invited me over. It was just it was too late. It was the night before I was leaving, um, and uh, so he's like, "Hey, come over and we'll drink this Assassin." But uh, I, I didn't make it over there. But the but it's pretty funny when he was telling me the story. He's telling me the. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm like, what a wild story. Yeah, what you know? a, yeah crazy. What's yeah. His address. Yeah. yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, just make sure you don't give my address out. So that was pretty. Uh, what a random. Yeah, just, just. I mean, you see a guy wearing no, a hat, you're yeah. like, nice hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns out to be the owner. Yep. Nice yeah, when we were at the Padre game, I saw some guy with a Caminetti shirt on. And I was yeah, like, you know what? that's a that's classic. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's not Caminetti, right? <laughs> yeah, not him. Oh, mercy. Well, we did go through some great beers. Yeah. Started with the uh, Creative Creature, Mason uh, McCreature. Uh, then we hit the uh, Pliny, or, uh, Blind Pig from uh, mm -hmm. Russian River. Then we went through Lost Abbey and their uh, A Still Small Voice, which was a wild ale. And then we hit the uh, Moxa uh, the Turon, Turon yeah. which was the Jeepney version. So, super delicious, all four. 
Wow. Top there of the class go. of every style. Yeah, we, did, we, did, like. we didn't waste any effort on these no. beers. Let me tell no, you. No, they were great. No, they were all, to all tremendous. Delish. What do you think, Charlie? What was your favorite? <sighs> um, I'm sticking with that. Uh, nah, you know what? It's a toss-up for me. It's a toss-up between the, uh, the Moxa and the Creative Creature. Two, two different ends of the uh-huh. drinking sphere, but uh, that was really good. It it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I'll tell you that. Uh, the jeepney or the the Tehran? Yeah, yeah, no, the Tehran was. Yeah, it's really really good. How about you, Steve? What do you like? Oh, they were all they were all spectacular. I mean, each of them were at the top of the class of the style. It was so good. Yeah, it's difficult because you have such a wide yeah, yeah, range. Like, if I guess if we drank all IPAs, it'd be easier to say which were the ones you like. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, a lot yeah. easier than yeah. Because yeah, if I I'm think, stranded on a desert island, I'm, I'm taking the blind pig. I would agree. With, I'd agree a hundred percent with that. You know, like if I could, if I could only have one of these beers again, I'm going blind pig just because I'm a big IPA guy. Yeah. The um, I think today though, like what what hit me as the as the best today, knowing that uh, that I can get Russian River, uh, you yeah. know, on a, yeah. a three minute drive from my house. Um, gosh, I'd bookend it just like Charlie did. I think that that Mason, uh, you know, like like you had mentioned earlier, as far as what Creative Creature does, Mason Ale works. Like that's the that's probably the best beer I've had from either one of those guys. Yeah. And that Tehran, I didn't have a whole lot. You know, like I'm not a banana in my beer fan. Mm. Like I'm just not a. No, we haven't had much banana, but it tasted. I'm, I'm it was great. Yeah, me. Like, <laughs> they did it really, really well. I ended it with banana, and I started it with banana. Yeah, no. There you go. That's how mm. I roll. There banana. Is there a banana IPA? <laughs> Well, there it is. And we, we uh, tribute to uh, Nate. Nate. Our brother. To Nate. He's a great guy, great fun. Miss him a lot. There it is. Hey, cheers. Until episode 53. Cheers. Happy birthday. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve, signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.